Greetings, my name is Mike and welcome to the video. So how can you deny allied heroes? Well, first of all, denying just means that you kill one of your teammates and we want to do this because it prevents the enemies from getting the gold and experience from that kill. And this is good because we want the enemies to be as poor as possible, right? Unfortunately, um, the target that got denied will still lose gold, it just doesn't go anywhere. So how do you actually deny someone? Well, the first requirement is that they must be below 25% HP. Can't just go around denying people for fun, right? Um, and of course, the other requirements though as well. The most common case here is that they're going to be affected by one of the following three spells from the enemies. Queen of Pain's Shadow Strike, Venomancer's Venomous Gale, or they are doomed by Doom's Doom. If they're affected by any one of these three spells and they get below 25% HP, you can start attacking them, just normal attacks, and hopefully you can get it and deny from that. Pretty straightforward. And interestingly enough as well, um, when Phoenix uses Supernova and it, the Supernova gets below 50% HP, it can also be denied by allies. Note though it's 50% HP here and not 25% like it was for normal denies. So there are also a few less common cases which I'll just go over quickly. Centaur Warrunner has his passive ability called Return, right? It, whenever it gets attacked by an enemy, it just deals some damage back to them. And this also works against allies. So say if you're very low on HP and you're trying to deny a centaur who's also very low, he's got Shadow Strike for example, and, and you hit him, you deny him and then the return hits you back and then he denies you pretty much. So you end up kind of denying each other, which I think is a pretty funny scenario. And something similar can actually happen with Vengeful Spirit, right? Her Vengeance Aura um, creates illusion, an illusion when she dies, which goes and hits the person that killed her. And this also works against allies. So if you and the Vengeful Spirit are both deniable, for example, you both have Shadow Strike, um, and you deny the Vengeful Spirit, it'll create an illusion which comes and hits you back, which denies you, and again, you end up denying each other, which I think is pretty funny. And then a much, much um, rarer case here, which I didn't even try to replicate because it sounds too insane. So watch some crazy penguin techies in the meantime. But if there's an enemy creep that's gonna get the last hit on you, right? A range creep. If it's if the projectile is flying in the air and it's about to hit you and kill you, and an allied unit dominates the creep, for example, using Helm of Dominator or Chen or Enchantress take over the creep, then it actually counts as a deny, which I think is pretty crazy. Then because pretty much an allied creep is killing you, right? So it's a deny. <laughs> Obviously a very, very uncommon case here, but I have seen it on Dota WTF clips, so it is possible, I guess. And then finally, I just wanted to mention some also weird interaction here with Ancient Apparition's ultimate Ice Blast, right? How it works is if they're affected by Ice Blast and their HP gets below 12%, I think, then they just instantly die to Ancient Apparition. Pretty straightforward, right? However, if an allied hero is the one that brings you below that kill threshold, then it counts as a deny. Just note that you can't deny yourself with this uh, method. It'll still give the kill to Ancient Apparition. And yeah, I think that's all I've got actually. Hopefully you've learned something from this and you can use it in a game at some point. I mean, denying is not the most common thing since there's only a set amount of rules that allow you to do it, but it is very useful and very beneficial when it actually does happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and cheers for now.